Ho ho, my heart is dinky doo. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Just popping up to say hi to every single one of you. Excellent stuff. An early evening pop up just to see who's about and have a bit of a chit chat with you and catch up with what's been happening with you. So there you go. So make sure you've always got your notifications switched and then uh, you can say, let me know when I can go live with Scotty McClue, dinky doo. Andy McCrory's there. Fantastic. Michael Griechen. Hello, Mark Hesford. Martin Monaghan. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Martin. How are you? Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Tony Mac, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you there, of course. John Hepburn's watching as well. And uh, we're a little bit earlier tonight, but we'll just see if it's a better time. Alan Hall and Susan Forrest, Dinky Doo. And a warm welcome to Scotty McClue's early evening pop up just to say hi to every single one of you. Lovely to have you with us tonight, of course. It always is. And uh, you can let us know, is it a little bit early for you? Are you uh, perhaps having an early evening tuck-in or whatever suits? Stephen Mooney, dinky-doo, from me, Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And a very, very warm welcome. Edward Doherty, good to see you, Scotty. Yes, dinky-doo, Edward. Always good to see you. And welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClue's pop-up live on Facebook Live, the World Stop Broadcast Platform. And uh, Ian Kerr's watching. Hello, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you, of course. Hi, Scotty. I found you after 20 years, says Graham Waywell. Lovely to have you with us, Graham. Should there be a bridge between Scotland and Ireland? Very good idea, Martin. But it's a fair old step. That's the only thing. Hi, Scotty. I'm in work watching you, says Pauline Belcaddy. Hello, Pauline Belcaddy. Have I said it right? Wally Logan's watching. Dinky do, Wally. Good to have you with us. And of course, excellent that you can all join me live here. Craig Party, hello. Anytime, Scotty, anytime, says John Boyle. Always welcome, John. Always good to hear from you because we have so much to talk about and there's always so little time to do it in. So marvellous to have you with us and a big dinky do. Keep sharing, guys. Kareem Zachariah, dinky do. Hello, you're looking grand, says Stuart Neely. So are you, Stuart. Evening, Scott Ayers, says Tony Mack. Excellent, Tony. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Have you let everybody know we are on? I'm just about to do that. Better King Patton, dinky do. Gordon Roddick's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon. Always excellent stuff. Proper entertainment. So there you are. There's so much nonsense about in the media, very poor quality television, and a lot of poor quality radio as well. So I think it's good that we have a pop-up and a chit-chat. Evening, Scotty, says Gary Hoare. Yes, Scotty, correct with the name, says Pauline Belkiddy. Thank you, Pauline Belkiddy. Excellent. Kareem Zachariah, Scotty, a wee prayer, please, from my granda. He has gone into hospital. I am sorry to hear that, Kareem, and I send strength to you and your family, and strength to Granda. I hope he um, builds his health back to full health. Alan Morrison and John Hanlon, welcome, guys. Lovely to have you with us. Mark Jippett's joined us. Always good. Set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live on Facebook. Right, very important. Howdy, old chap, says John Hanlon. Howdy to you, John Hanlon. Always good to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Now, there we go. I'm just going to start the sharing here so that we all know what is what. So there we are. You can do the same, of course. It's always welcome. Excellent. Good evening from the United Arab Emirates. You are the lord of the global airwaves, says Craig Party. I am whereabouts in the uh, UAE, are you, Craig? Good on you, Scotty, says John Boyle. Absolutely. Hi, Scotty. If we park it, says Sal Williams. Christine Garvin, evening, my good sir. Evening, Scotty lad, says Wally Logan. See more. I can't see more at the moment, Willie, because sometimes you lose the broadcast if you do that, if you go to see more. But it's lovely to have you with us. And, of course, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live just for you. Excellent stuff. This is taking a bit of time, so we'll just let it go round and round. It's got one of these wee things that goes round and round. 
ground when you try to share. That's better. We'll share now in public. Let everybody know. Uh, sending prayers and best wishes to Kareem and his family from Tony Mack. Excellent. Thank you, Scotty McClue, says Kareem Zachariah. Not at all, Kareem. Randolph Jack Dill Jr., Jesus loves you. Praise the Lord. Amen to that, I say. After we become independent, hold on, and cure poverty in Scotland, should we lead the world, the world, with space exploration? After we become independent and cure poverty in Scotland, should we lead the world with space exploration? Martin Morgan, very interesting. Now, also, I'd like to ask you about the Brexit thing. Do you think we should remain in the EU and stop all this nonsense? Scotty, the most honest man on the radio, can't wait for your shows, says Graham Waywell. Lovely to have you with us, Graham, and dinky do, I say. I'm in a wonderful place, says Craig Pardy, called Ras al Khima, some 60 miles north of Dubai. Excellent in the UAE there. Very, very good, Craig. Great stuff. Glad you're back. Better days, says John Boyle. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot happening with Scotty McClure at the moment. Your office shiny, says Christine Garvin. I know I'm brand new, Christine. I'm just out the paper, so I'm a wee bit shiny. And uh, there's not much chance of me dulling down. Uh, Nano Nano, says uh, John Boyle, absolutely, and to you, John, same thing, right, wonderful. Now, tell every day, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, let's get these numbers up. Wonderful Mike Henfield is watching. We're in our 28th year, Michael. Lovely to have you with us, one of the finest radio MDs I have ever met, and I've met some great people. Absolutely not, the people voted to leave, and we should no matter the consequences. Nicola Jimmy. Listen, can I get this across to you? The people did not vote to leave. Only 50% took part, and of that, only 1.2 million. Bearing in mind, we're nearly 70 million people in uh, the four countries that make up the UK. So, I mean, the people did not vote to leave. This is a myth. You, Nicola, my dear, are being what from the back. Excellent stuff. Stephen McFarlane's watching. Thank you, Christine Garvin. Should we remain in the EU and forget all this Brexit nonsense? Because it is undeliverable and it's passe and there was no democracy in the referendum. I can tell you that for nothing. Christine Garvin, thank you, do. Do you think Boris Johnson will live up to the German Prime Minister's 30-day ultimatum? We will have to see, Tony. We can't really predict that. That's enough, Scotty, says John Boyle. No, no, John, I mean, you've got to say it. We may as well be straight with the people. You know, that was a lot of pantomime, that uh, a lot of nonsense, that um, opinion poll three years ago. It was very, very flawed, and uh, it should never have been allowed to take place. Uh, correct, Scotty. What from the back? They are John Boyle. The what from the back? And that's what you say. These uh, Brexiteers are getting walked from the back there. <laughs> you know, that's what's going on there. So I may as well tell you the truth, John. So no, it's not enough. Anyway, um, it's worthy of comment. Do tell us what you think, of course. Always good to uh, to hear from you. Everyone had a choice to vote. Blame those who didn't for the decision. I voted for me, but the vote is the vote. Nicola Jimson, I don't think the vote is the vote. I think, you know, when it's something as serious as that, I mean, we could be talking economic annihilation of the United Kingdom and um, political fragmentation. So there you are. That's the one, says John Boyle. Absolutely. There's Jeff Bernstein. Thank you, too, Jeff. Lovely to have you with us. And a warm welcome, I say. Always good to have you with us. James Clough is watching. Yep, I do, Scotty, says Christine Garvin. Absolutely. William Renfrew. Thank you, too. Lovely to have you with us. And a warm welcome from me, Scotty. Scotty McClure. Hi, Scotty, says uh, Victoria Ianesk. Uh, could you wish my boyfriend Gary happy birthday, please? He's 40 
today. He's a lucky man, Victoria. You tell him that. Happy birthday, Gary. Lily Patterson watching. Dinky do, Lily La. Uh, talking about another post. I'm on your side, Scotty, says John Boyle. Oh, absolutely, John. We were getting confused there. There was a wee bit of Confucius going on. Dinky do, Scotty, says James Clough and to you. And um, what do you think of them wanting the working age up against 75? No. The German pension is £26,000 a year. The British pension, I think, is about seven and a half or 8000 isn't it? So, you know, there's something very strange going on. So it's almost a quarter of the German pension. And this is why we should be remaining in the EU, because this country is not looking after its people. Too much money being snaffled. Uh, that was brilliant. Thank you, says Victoria Yonesk. The government took the country for granted over Brexit by not having a backup plan in place for the UK leaving the EU. But we shouldn't be leaving the EU, Tony Mac. It's a piece of nonsense. Word on the street is other radio stations are trying to poach Scotty. Any truth, says Martin Monaghan. You might think that, Martin. I couldn't possibly comment. There you are. Respect, Scotty, says John Boyle. And to you, John, very much so. Cheryl Fields is watching. Dinky do, Cheryl. Lovely to have you with us. And a warm welcome to Scotty McClue's pop-up live on Facebook Live just for all of you. Dinky do. Always lovely to have you with us. And uh, do come and join us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. I'm going to spread the word a wee bit. I'm going to share it on the Scotty McClue page and just let them know that we're up here live saying dinky do. It's ridiculous, Scotty, says Christine. It is, Christine. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, there we go. Scotty McClure. So we'll share this with Scotty McClure, and I'll just put live. I don't even need to put that. They can see it. For goodness sake, people know how Facebook works by now. We've done hundreds of shows. Ripping the poor pensioners off, says Sal Williams. Absolutely, Sal, yes. Um, I like hearing you on Nation Radio. Says Martin Monaghan, I love being on Nation Radio, Martin, and we're on on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp. Whoever has McClure on the station has the market, says Tony Mac. Absolutely, Tony, correct. They are, Sal, says Christine Garvin. Yes, Christine, you agree with me. You know McClure talks a lot of sense. But would you like to see the end of Brexit should the Prime Minister switch horses and start uh, negotiating remain with the EU then all your problems your bank stop your customs union all that challenges would stop and the House of Commons would be with us and we could remain because all we need to do is accept that that referendum was not democratic. How can you have a democratic vote when only half the people vote? And a lot of them couldn't. So don't start all this. They should have gone out and voted and got off their backside and all that kind of nonsense. That's just complete and utter bunkum. A lot of these people can't vote. Some of them are even youngsters, babies, things like that. They can't go out and vote, but it's their future. The BBC need to be knocking Scotty McClure and you get a talk show. Graham, we will. I've said this for years. I think we should have a television show on a Friday night for half an hour. Sharon Kyle, dinky do. Good evening, Scotty, says Sharon. Lovely to have you with us, Sharon. And dinky do to you, I say. Tell us where you're watching from, folks, if you're out with Scotland. We have a lot of people watching in Canada and America and Australia. John Cameron's watching Dinky Doo. John, lovely to have you with us. A little bit early tonight, of course. So there we are. Um, I hope to retire with my big slipper to be looking for a job at 75, says Sal Williams. No, I don't mind working, but I don't think actually... We should be uh, so late in getting our pension. Paul Robinson, one of the finest radio managers in the country, is watching right now. There you are, Paul. Do you think we should be remaining in the EU? All the evidence points to the fact that we should. But uh, do tell us. Graham Wewell is in St. Ives in Cornwall. Well, I, 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 I very tell of St. Ives, Graham. And I sort of know... Where you are, like. 
see? And uh, it's this uh, afternoon, so I'll say to you, uh, afternoon, because up until about four o'clock, if I remember rightly, it's morning where you are in St. Ives in Cornwall. Excellent. David Blair, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. Thanks a bunch, says, who's sending that? Sharon, Kyle, yes. <coughs> Stockton and T. Scotty, for my sins, but I'm a castle still a milko, I say. Oh, God, I know sal, el, el. I'll try to get an ad out here. So we'll just get away from all that. Um, dinky do legend, says John Cameron. And you, John, lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty, I've worked for 41 years in the same place. I was looking forward to the slipper, says Sal Williams. Oh, you'll get the slipper all right. Good evening, Scotty and Lord Clyde, says Julie Shaw. Evening, Julie. Lovely to have you with us. A little bit early tonight, but uh, we thought we'd pop up and see what was what. Think we need Scottish independence. The rest of the UK is falling apart, says Tony Mac. It is, but we can always remain in the EU as four separate countries. Have we thought of that? Because, I mean, the cost of coming out of the EU, a market of 510 million, why would you divide your market by eight? Oh, Defo, Tony, Defo, lol, lol, says Sal Williams. Nice to see you. Says Julie Shaw. Always nice to see you, Julie Shaw. Always a privilege, never a chore, I always say. So there we are. That's why I always say, and you know it's right. Uh, I'm just going to share this with the group. Uh, you can do the same, guys, if you want to get sharing. Um, share. <coughs> I'm going to share it with the Scotty McClure group. Excellent. There we are. Ian McManus is watching. Come on and give us your crack, Ian. Free Alba says Wally Logan. So there you are. Yes, good point, Willie. I understand where you're coming from. I'm just going to put in Scotty McClue here for this group, and we'll see what happens, and then we can get sharing as well. And as I say, if you can all do the same, folks, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Set your notifications as well. Hello, Scotty, you're looking good, says Ned McMillan. Ned McMillan, lovely to have you with us, and dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClure. Come on, group, up you get. There we are, SC, and that's the stuff. There we are, just sharing this now, guys. Let you all know what's going on. That's great. That's shared. Um, yes, dinky do, Ned. I hope you're well. Always good to have you with us. Shared, says Julie Shaw. Good, Julie, because I want to get the numbers up. See the little uh, number at the top there? That should be a way up into the hundreds. And we need to keep sharing and sharing and sharing because people won't know we're on unless we do that. Then it's the worst car park I've been in a horrible motorway. John Cameron, you don't have to tell McClure about it. I was sitting on the M8 for, oh, good half hour waiting to uh, to get on there. It's just so slow from about Hillington into the town. I don't know why. Looking good. Have you been in the sun tanning lounge? Says Tony. <laughs> <laughs> tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. You're quite right, John Cameron. Excellent stuff. Sorry, it was a bit close to the camera there, folks. We get too much of the McClure for Zog. Oh, wonderful. Uh, tell George he's really the best, says Sal. George, Sal says you're the best. Good evening, Scott. He shared again. Need to keep the numbers up. We do, John Boyle. We need to tell everybody. And I want people who have got thousands upon thousands of followers. Give me some... Uh, Give me some skin. Get a few thumbs up going there and a few hearts. That's the stuff. That's what we want. Uh, we do need to keep the numbers up. Fantastic. Whoa. I just went a bit bright there. Did you see that? Amazing. Just suddenly went very bright in the face. Um, I'll sit back a bit. Is that better? Excellent stuff. So there we are. Uh, good evening, Scott. It was shared again, says John Bar. Yes, John, this is what we like. Excellent stuff. Let everyone know. And I'll keep sharing as well. Will do. Will do, Scotty. Good for John Boyle. Excellent. John Cameron, two and a half hours for Edinburgh. It's a nightmare. I mean, you know, do we need more motorways? Or do we need some sort of... I wondered about... Did you see the guy with the pack on? <coughs> He's back. <coughs> the M25 has to be the worst motorway car park. Yes, 
I have spent myself. Um, Alan McGee, what are you doing? Do not give out phone numbers. Heaven's sake. There we go. No, no, we don't want to do that, Alan. So there we are. I'll just have to take that out. Right. Um, we don't know who's it is, you see. Michael Paul McVeigh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Scotty McLeod's pop-up just for you, Dinky Doo. Why have I got a gold face? This is very strange. I've got a gold face. What if I should change that face from gold? What about that? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, a bit dark. Bit dark. There we are. Excellent. Too bright. Too much light on one side. Let's see if we can get a bit more light going for you guys. How's that? Is that better? There we are. Michael Paul McVeigh. Excellent stuff. Right. Oh, very bright. How's that? Ah. Is that better, folks? A bit less shine for you. There. How's that? Is that the best lighting, would you say, for Scotty McClure? Uh Michael Paul McVeigh, evening, Scotty, what's the script? Well, we're talking about um, Brexit and saying, should we actually negotiate Remain? Just do a vault fast and about turn, a turn of face. Uh, that's the old Scott FM number. Oh, sorry, Alan. I beg your pardon. I want one, says John Cameron. It's just I can't put out random numbers on here. Um, light off, better, no shiny. I'm not that shiny, for going to say. Just because I'm new, I'm out the paper. So there we are. If you put the light off, you will see nothing. <coughs> that's terrible, is it not? That's, are we not sitting in the dark now? Are you definitely back? Of course we're back, for goodness sake. That's better. So, Julie, is that better, Julie? Or is it the one before you're talking about? Um, news just reported. The Scottish office in London have referred to our deficit dropping as a failure. Um, there's no winning with Westminster. Uh, no, it's not a failure. Of course not. They're going to do this because they're trying to frighten people into thinking that all the money that Scotland's got, remember we send about 60-odd billion pounds every year to subsidise Westminster. Shocking. That's perfect, says Julie. Is that good? Are we not a bit dark, Julie? <coughs> Let us know if the lighting's okay for you folks. You need to give up the ciggy, Scotty. Uh, Michael Paul McVeigh, I haven't had a ciggy for 20 years. So that's not bad, is it? Uh, light off, better, no shiny. Almost every country has a deficit, like independence is normal. We don't have a deficit in Scotland because we don't borrow money. So there is no deficit there. Uh, are you definitely back on Sunday? Yes, Julie. I was back last Sunday, but I couldn't get on because the producer was unwell. The wee soul had had an accident and we couldn't get anyone else in time because it's a very skilled job, being the wizard of the big switchboard. Hi, Uncle Peter, says Christine. Playing with your dimmer switch, says John Cameron. Absolutely, John, I'm too dim now. Am I far too dim? No, that one is fine. Is that all right? Does it not look a bit dark, Julie? So there you go, Nikki Harvey winning. It's lovely to have you with us, Nikki. I hope you're well and dinky you do. What do you think about the plan to increase the pension age to 75? I think it's shocking, to be honest with you, Christopher Love. We need to be very careful. Nobody's trying to do a bunk with our pensions. Why not pay it 60? It used to be 60 for women, but the women wanted equality, so they shoved it up to 65. I think better equality would have been to shove the men down to 60. <coughs> Now, what have we got here? We drink water. Mm. Ooh, that's lush. That is absolutely gorgeous. Hello, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Tom. Hey, dinky do. No, says John Boyle. Tony says, Mrs. Max feeling ill. What's the best way to look after her? Oh, Tony. Um, it's too personal to go into on uh, on the old line here, but I think you get the message, you know, definitely. Um, use a daylight bulb in your big light, Scotty. That's what we used to when I did live hosting on the bingo site. I think I'll put the lights back on again, will I not? 
Let you all see a wee bit of light. Is that not better? What about that one? There we are. That's not too bright, is it? Oh, Scotty, don't. Uh, the last one was better. Lighting all good now, says Martin. Yes, says John Boyle. No, lighting's fine. We can still see you. No, your fine, lovely wee face, says Sal. Best stuff, William Cameron Dinky do. The fact that Scotland doesn't have a deficit, the rest of the UK is in debt, is a good argument for independence, a very good argument for independence. Actually, Tony Mac, when you see the money that Scotland brings in, that's why Westminster does not want to lose Scotland. But you've got all these dafties getting fed nonsense. Uh, you know, by people whose interests are in keeping the money flowing from Scotland into Westminster. Did you know Scotland subsidising the South's HS2? We're paying 8% towards this multi-billion pound project, and it stops at Leeds and Manchester, says Rudy Zach. I did know that, Rudy, yes, of course. But I think the money from HS2 should be given to something like the BBC, so they can put on the Scotty McClure show, which would be much better for you all than going faster on the railway. All right, so there you are. Agreed, Scotty. Well said, says Christopher Love. Hope you've had a good day, says Thomas Hamilton. Lovely, Tom. Thank you very, very much for asking. John Boyle, yay. John Boyle says, better. Better lighting, I think so. Aye, that's spot on now. Lighting better before, says Martin. No, I think it's better. Right, this is... Position one on the lights. Have you got this? Take a snap of this. This is position two in the lights. Do you want position one or position two? Or do you want this one, number three? <clears throat> Hello. There we are. Tell me what you think of that. But there's position number two. So do you want one or two? Sorry, that's number one. So do you want this one or do you want that one? Okay, one or two. Was Mr. Martin a Scott FM listener? Well, obviously, Alan, I would think so. Nicola Jameson, number one. So this one, are you quite happy with this one? Number one, right. So we'll leave it at this is that okay for everybody? Thank you, do. A uh, bit more sharing going on. Come on, we need to share. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Excellent stuff. Let everybody know. Scotty McLeod's live just for you. Thank you, do. Number one. Everybody's going for number one. Dave Russell, Sal Williams, Alan McGee. You're all going for lighting position one for the Scotty McLeod pop-ups. Excellent. Right, that's what we'll do. I can put on the light behind. Now, this is position one. If I put the light behind on, that's now position two. <clears throat> Do we like a bit of backlight? Excellent. What did you have for your dinner tonight, Scott? Is this Alan McGee? Oh, we had some wonderful things tonight, Alan. So there we are. I actually had a salad. Very nice. Uh, Christine Garvin, number two. Michael Paul McVeigh. Scotty McClure is number one, says Rudy Zach. Rudy Zach, I thank you. You say the loveliest things. Do we like the backlight on or do we want the backlight off? All right, there's the backlight on at the moment. And we can put the backlight off. Okay. Are you ready? Off. Is that, be is that better? So there you are. Scotty, get yourself a pair of shades. Yes, I've got one. I've got my own glasses somewhere. You know, uh, my James Bond. Two, as it lights up your pictures and your Pegasus, says Julie Shaw. How's that? Do you like that? So there we are. Get the glasses on for the chit-chat. Wonderful stuff. Tracy Campbell, number one. So there we go. Uh, the backlight lights up the pictures, so you want that one on. Alex Jenkins has just joined us. Thank you, do, Alex. Lovely to have you with us. Put the big light on. Put the big light on and leave it, for goodness sake. Right, there we go. Big light on behind, and we'll leave that. How's that, guys? Excellent stuff. Put the backlight on, right? The backlight's on now. 
And you've got Scotty McClure there saying dinky doo to every single one of you. There's another wee bit of colour for you. Future's so bright, uh, you got to wear Gregory's. The Gregory Pecks, says uh, Sal. Put the back light on. Off, says Tracy Campbell. Off. She wants the lights off now. For goodness sake, what am I to do with you all? What is Charlotte? I don't know. Fantastic. Right. Uh, wait till I share to another page here. And let everybody know that we're on. Fantastic stuff. And guys, can you all share, 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 share? Uh, wonderful stuff. Um, that's lovely. You can see Lord Reith in the photo. Yes, you can. There's Lord Reith. There he is in the photo there. Fantastic stuff, Dinky Doo. I'm just going to share this with Dinky Doo and let everybody know what's happening. Debate about the lights is worse than Brexit. I know, if we can't agree on the lighting for the Scotty McClue pop-up, what on earth are we going to do about Brexit? If someone in the street has seen you and asked for a photo, would you oblige? Oh, I've always obliged, Alan McGee, if I've got any photos handy. Rory Nichols watching, already done, says Julie. Number one's best. You sounded like an optician there. Yes. Is it better like this? Is it better like that? I used to actually go out with a lady optician and she used to say to me, is it better like this? Or is it better like that? Wonderful. Sorry, I'm not sure if that's the right spelling of his name. Reith, R-E-I-T-H. He's called after the guy that started the BBC in 1922. Lord Reith, who was a Glasgow man, came from, uh, I think it was Linduch Street in the west end of Glasgow. That's where the Reiths lived. His father was a, he was a free church minister. Scotty, uh, Scottish powers loving you. You'll fuse your castle. <laughs> Fuse the castle, goodness sake. Oh. Give myself a wee bit of a wee bit of a mop down there, a wee comfort break just to take the shine off for you. Fantastic. Oh, I see, said Julie. Absolutely, R E I T H. If you look him up, have you ever wore a wig? I'm wearing one now, for goodness sake. What are you on about? Look at it. Perfect. Wonderful. So there you go. I might get one of these um, judges' wigs and just go about with that on. Or we can always don the Scotty McClue bonnet. We can always do that. Get the Scotty McClue bonnet on and let you know what is what. Do you prefer the bonnet on or the bonnet off? That's the on or off, I ask you. A wonderful round. I'm just uh, sharing to some other pages here, guys. It's a busy, busy life, isn't it? The world sought broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Never a dull moment. So there we are. Uh, what was that, the right one? Wait a minute. The world stop talk show. They have that one there. So we'll share with that. Let everybody know we're live. <coughs> it looks like a Dax bonnet. No, this is, I'll tell you, this is the top one. What have we got here? Best way to stay in the European Union is to vote no. They said best way to protect pensions is to vote no. They said mainstream media never pull British nationalist proponents up on these fibs. Do they? No, they don't, Rudy. You're quite right. And these were whoppers that we were told, but we were told them by Labour people. And Labour in Scotland has just wandered off into the political wilderness. And I doubt it'll ever come back. So there you are, wonderful stuff. You can't be Scotty without the bonnet. So there we are. I'll do an advert for this bonnet because it's really proper stuff. Um, there we are. It's, it's a lovely bonnet supplier in Fife. Scotty, can I ask you, how old were you when you did Scott FM? You look quite young but dressed older. Yes, I did. When I did Scott FM, I would be about 38 I think. So I'd be about 38. Yes, something like that. Take your point. You can't be Scotty without the bonnet, says David Russell. How much do you charge for a guest appearance? Well, Alan, it depends what it is. If I'm doing a voiceover for a massive company, you know, then I'll ask them what their budget is. If I'm doing a speech, then, you know, it's a different thing. You know, we'll charge a few... You know, they get away with a few hundred pounds or something like that. It just depends. Sometimes I do after dinner speeches 
And it's 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 a very big fee. You know, we don't discuss wages live on Facebook Live. You know, it just depends on what somebody wants done. Um, and we do that for them, and we will charge them a very good fee. Scotty McClure is excellent value. I'm not the cheapest, but I am the best. That was an agent said that to me, so there you are. Scotty, I need a tartan bonnet. I'm going to see the Bay City Rollers. Uh, Rudy Zach, Hogs of Fife. Rudy Zach, nothing gets past you, you know. You're absolutely right. Hogs of Fife. Scott Grant, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Welcome, I say. And uh, I can just show you. Now, you'll see it backwards there. Can you see that? How does that look? I know it's backwards, but there you go. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. And that lets you know what is what. So wonderful stuff. Where would you, where would I have heard your voiceovers? You'll get them Scottish television. You would have heard a voiceover and in fact an appearance. So there you are. Uh, so you're intrigued, Victoria Amy. Absolutely. But if you go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and you'll hear the voices on there. I know my bonnets, says Rudy Zach. You certainly do, Rudy. That was very, very impressive, by the way. Can I have some more sharing, please? And what's happened to a few hearts? It would be nice to see a few hearts on here, I say. Um, I can tell you that from nothing. So there you go. Um, so yes, uh, Scottish television. I used to do a lot of voices on Radio Clyde, on Radio Forth. Used to do commercials for all these uh, for the big companies. So there you go. But I don't sort of do, if I'm appearing on the radio, then you can't actually put your voice in a commercial during that program. So there you go. But uh, I can do them on other things, no problem at all. And if you want to actually sell something, you're better with a well-known voice when people go, "That's Scotty McClure." I go, "Who's Scotty on that advert there? That advert for?" McClure's Pies, or whatever it was, a way, so it is. Scotty, would you ever think of going into the political field? I can tell you something, uh, Michael Paul McVeigh, Jacqueline Trotter, Dinky you and Stuart Buchan, J.P. McCusker, welcome to our evening pop-up, but a little bit earlier tonight. But, uh, no, I can tell you that... Um, I was invited, did I want to be an MP? And I said no at the time. It was a Glasgow by-election, a part of Glasgow. And somebody said, Scotty, if you're going to be an MP, will you be serious about it? I said, of course I would be, yes. They said, because there's a very good chance you'll get in. So that was what came up. So I don't know. Would you like me to be your MP? You'll be a very good MP, Scott is, says Julie Shaw. Steak pie or mince and tatties? Oh, you've spoiled me for choice. I'd steak pie for my lunch today, so I'll go for mince and tatties. Good evening, sir. Great to see you fit and well. JP McCusker, a finer man I could not meet. So lovely to hear from you. And um, I'm missing your chit-chat and your company. Nothing to beat it. One of our finest broadcasters. I got in trouble for saying God bless to someone. They thought I was questioning their faith. I was just trying to be nice. Political correctness is crazy. What do you think, Tony Mac? Yes, it's very crazy. But you see, in actual fact, you cannot uh, give offence. Offence has to be taken. And that should be brought up in law that you'd have to take offence. Would like you for Prime Minister, says JP. JP, you say the nicest things. So there you are. Why was it called Radio Clyde 261, says Alan McGee? Because it went out on medium wave on 261 metres. So there you are. And then, of course, they went out on VHF, uh, which is now FM. And then the stations were told that they would lose a frequency if they didn't put something different on it. So they split in the late 1980s, early 1990s, and they sometimes did um, banging music on the 1 FM, and uh, on the 2, they would put on older music. So when I went down Red Rose Radio in Lancashire, had split and 9.99 on the AM, the medium wave, 
Um, Scotty, do you love tripe? Somebody's asking me there. If you're going, who wants to be a millionaire, says Alan. So uh, the split 999 was the medium wave, the AM station. That became Red Rose Gold. And uh, 97.3 uh, became Rock FM. Have I said it right? Uh, do let me know. The wonderful JP will know. Um, radio receptions aren't great in Argyle and Butte. Very intermittent. Roughly what sort of part of Argyle and Butte are we talking, Rudy? You don't have to home us in too closely, but if you can give us an indication and we shall see what's what. This is why I think the future is uh, on a broadcast like this on Facebook. So there we go. I mean, one of my Facebook pop-ups has got like 28,000 people watching it. You know, I mean, that's amazing. 9.99 a.m. is a great listen, best show, 97.4. That's it. That's it, JP. Uh, 97.4 was Rock FM. Rock FM. And uh, 9.99 a.m. Red Rose Gold. Fantastic. And McClure was on at night on the medium wave, and apparently the um, radio buffs could uh, hear me in places like Edinburgh. I travel through Argyll and Butte, Scotty. <clears throat> but I live on the Cowell Peninsula. Ah, Rudy Zach, I know the Cowell Peninsula very well indeed. 97.4, says the lovely Susan Forrest. Dinky do, Susan, lovely to have you with us. Mwah, I say, down in Lancashire. She's a lassie from Lancashire. Fantastic. Mark Gibbs is watching. Dinky do, Mark. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic. Michael Paul McVeigh replying to Rudy. Try tuning in the radio. You can also get Nation Radio. Oh, sorry. Try tuning radio. You can also get Nation Radio. Yes, 96.3 is a massive uh, signal, guys, for uh, Nation Radio. So I can strongly, strongly recommend that you hook up to that one. It's fantastic. It's uh, a wonderful, wonderful local Scottish radio station. And it's very difficult to get that now, apart from the community stations, because uh, the bigger stations have kind of given up on their roots Digital reception is almost non-existent in our dial and butte, says Rudy Zach. And um, I think that we were far too late, typical in this country, but I think we were actually far too late with our digital reception. You know, I mean, digital's been around for a long, 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 long time, but it could have been developed a lot sooner. So there you go. They need to get Scotty McClure involved. I've always said it, if you're setting up a radio or a television station, you need Scotty McClure on it, but they do not listen. And uh, one guy I got in touch with, and I shall not embarrass them by naming the station, but I got in touch with a guy who was in charge of a television station. Uh, do you think networking will come to an end as listeners want to hear more local? Networking is not local. Yes, I do, Tony. Up in Glasgow in November, we'll see you in Sucky Hall Street for a wee bivvy. JP, I can't think of anything finer. I don't take a refreshment now, but I'm sure I can manage a softie. So just to have the joy of your company. Uh, so we'll get ourselves into a wee Irish place there and get the crack going. You know, the crack? We'll get some crack going. But um, I think that would be fantastic. Scotland's infrastructure will be transformed when we get the powers via independence to invest in them. Well, the infrastructure in Scotland is very good. I would like to see us putting our own money into heavily subsidising all the ferries and the stuff to the Western Isles, the transport system, because I was brought up with the most incredible transport system in Scotland, an integrated transport system. And uh, Paul, well, there's an app, F-Tom Play Store, Scotty. I'm not advertising, honestly. No, I know Michael Paul McVay, no problem. But I was brought up with a wonderful integrated transport system in Scotland. We had all the steam trains, and they were run by British Railways. Then they met with boats that were owned by British Railways, but went under things like the Caledonian Steam Packet Company Limited. 
And then you had another company called David McBrain, 1928 Limited. And David McBrain was um, for the Highlands. And they had buses, McBrain's buses. I don't know who remembers McBrain's buses. Who remembers McBrain's boats? And they were all timed to perfection and integrated. And you could travel around the West Coast. You could island hop. You could go from Oban. You still can, I believe, to Barra and all these places. Fantastic. And that was McBrain's Boats. So if you remember McBrain's Boats, do let me know. That would be fantastic. Mm. Another wee sip of water for you. Anybody remember McBrain's Boats? It's now, of course, um, the company Caledonia McBrain or Calmac that operate the West Coast. Tremendous stuff, but there were so many wonderful. I can go back to the time of the turbine steamships. And those of you who travelled from um, Liverpool over to Ireland um, on the uh, Isle of Man Steam Packet Company Limited, Fantastic. These were big turbine steamers. And they used to go to Douglas on the Isle of Man. Can anybody remember the names of any of them? So do let us know. Do come on and give us your chat. That would be wonderful. Fantastic. Whoa, I'm losing my battery. Crisis, crisis. Bear in mind. Crisis, crisis. I'm losing battery, folks. There we are. Lynn McDowell's watching Dinky Doo Lynn. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue's pop-up. Do you think we should make the pop-ups a regular thing, guys? Do tell. I'm feeling about here with this device to see if I can give it some more juice. Wonderful. Right. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, they don't like it up on Captain Mannering. Wonderful. There we go. Right, now, has that what? Have I got more juice? How can I tell? There we go. Uh, ever been to the Isle of Wight, Scotty? Trapped here with work at the moment. Nice to hear a familiar Scottish voice. Gary McCord, are you in cows? I mind the wee blue train that went to Helensburgh going in a wee jaunt into Glasgow on it. Yes, Judy Shaw, Helensburgh into Annie's Land and uh, into Glasgow Central. Hello, Scotty, says Paul McGuinness, watching us there. Excellent, Paul. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, of course. You're very, very welcome. Uh, so there we are. And uh, Rudy will not be going into that. We can't comment on that at the moment. Um, that's all up in the air. Hello, yes, hello, Scotty boys. This is Brian McCarran. Brian, lovely to hear from you. I hope you're dinky doo la. Dinky doo to you, says Paul McGuinness. Absolutely. I'm indeed in cows down by the marina. Excellent. Can you see a big shed there? Is it still there at the slipway? That used to be Saunders Row and then Sarrow and then it became British Hovercraft. Wonderful. I love why it's lovely. I've been to Sandown, says Julie Shaw. Yes. Do you remember we used to say what's brown and steams out of cows backwards? The Isle of Wight Ferry. Do you remember that one? Yes. What's brown and comes steaming out of cows backwards? The Isle of Wight Ferry. So they are excellent stuff. Wonderful sand down on the Isle of Wight. And of course, Osborne House. Have you been to Osborne House, Gary McCord? There we are, where Queen Victoria was very happy. That's where she actually, she died. Old Queen Victoria passed away uh, on January 1901. And uh, thanks for your advice, Mrs. Mack. I'm back in our good books again. Thanks, Scotty. I'll bet you are. Last time I was in the Isle of Wight, I went to Ride, a beautiful wee place, R-Y-D-E, Gary. Yes, now, the Isle of Wight used to have paddle steamers. Yes, the Isle of Wight Steam Packet Company. And they had... Um, Paddle steamers, and there was the PS Ride. Fantastic stuff. So excellent. Yes, you're right. You're right, Gary. Wonderful stuff. How's the lighting, guys? Now take the bonnet off now. Give you all a wee break. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at the states of me. So yes, there's Ride and the Sandown, and I'm trying to think, where else have we got now? 
There's a wee village there where Sam Saunders is buried of Saunders Row. Yes, I've been to Osborne House, stunning building and the grounds. You're so intelligent, Scotty, kiss kiss, says Tracy Campbell. Mwah. So are you, Tracy. So there you are. The Isle of Wight manufactures beautiful glass. It must be good sand. Oh, it's good sand, really. For goodness sake. Neil Holgate has just joined us. Dinky do. The trains on the Isle of Wight used to be old London underground trains, says Julie Shaw. Julie Shaw, you are so sharp. We love all this. We are trading information on here. Tremendous. And we absolutely love it. Now... Uh, who have we got here? I'm just thinking, what's the time? Oh my goodness me, time flies when you're enjoying yourself. We'll have just one more share. Well, I'll do folks, I get a lot of people saying, oh, we missed your, we missed your stream, Scotty. We missed your stream. Uh, bring back the good old days, Scotty, says Robert T. Kerr. Well, anybody that's ever been on the Queen Mary, I don't mean the big Canada. I mean the one that was the Queen Mary II. Not a sound of these beautiful big turbine steamers built at Denny of Dumbarton, in at the side of Dumbarton Rock. Yes, they still are, Julie Shaw. Hasn't changed, says Gary McCourt. Excellent, Gary. Gary, do you think we should make the pop-ups regular? That's what I was going to check with you all. And when's the best time to catch you? Stuart Main's watching, Dinky Doo Stuart. Lovely to have you with us from me, Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. Always good to have you with us. I say, there we go, just a little bit of adjustment. Um, replying to Gary McCord, is it last time I was there was 88, says Julie. Now, what was the name of that little village? Whippingham. Do you know a little village called Whippingham on the Isle of Wight? Uh, do let us know about that, Gary. That'd be smashing. And how near is it to where you are, if you know it? The village of Whippingham. Tell me, Scotty, regarding this format, can't you do a live phone-ins on the platform? Then we can have debates. Well, Rudy, do you want to give it a shot? I mean, are you befriended and all that sort of stuff because sometimes it pops up i agree scotty eight on nine personally suits me best says gary mccord so eight until nine gary <coughs> we've done one on monday and one on tuesday and um we did this one or was it tuesday and wednesday uh what are we at now this is wednesday so we're all right. I uh, agree, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. Definitely make them regular, says Ian Stewart. And we can pop up. I'll also pop them up on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Dinky do. Good night from me and Rosie. Good night, Tony Mack. Lovely to have you with us. Lovely to have you all with us. What a fantastic evening it's been. And I will have to push off now. We were studying the Industrial Revolution and Summer Lee was fascinating. I love the history. Yes, Robert T. Kerr. The Industrial Revolution is here, and before that you had the Agrarian Revolution, when the money was in the countryside. You can add people into your lives, Scotty. You can do it that way. Is there anybody watching that wants to come on for a wee chit-chat then, and we'll try it just before we go? That would be good. If you like to do that, then do, please. Um, who, can, who can get access right now? Who does it say... You know, go live with Scotty McClure, and I'll accept that if you like. And we can have a chit chat. There's Colin Mingus watching. Thank you, do Colin. Lovely to have you with us. And we could actually be making history. So there we are. I'm sure we had Andy McGrory. It was saying go live at the start. Well, the miss Scotty. I'm late, Scotty. So no, Neely, Davy Cooper, McCallum. You're actually early. Um, it's just, I'm early. Sorry, you're not late. I'm early. That's what I'm saying. We're a wee bit sharper tonight with the chit-chat. So there you are. So, no, no, you haven't missed. Just to remember your radio talk shows. I love them. Really, that you'll get a lot of them on uh, the YouTube channel. Just hit the green icon next to the Mocticons, and you'll get the request. Fascinating. So there we are. So the green arrow, Robert T. Kerr. Do you want to come on with me? Uh, so there we go. Bring Robert T. Kerr on the camera. Do you want to go on the camera, Robert? 
or um, would you rather not? Do tell us. So there you are. So Robert, I'll leave it just now because I don't wish to embarrass you, but you could go live with me. I've just seen that. Hi, Scotty. It's Colin from last night. Hope you are well. And can you please give me your thoughts on universal credits? I do not like these things. I think poor people are getting ripped off. So there we are. That's what I feel, Colin. Fascinating, says Robert. Yes. So I could actually, we could see you, Robert, and you could come on. But I would never do that unless you wanted to do it. You could, you would have to accept it anyway, but you can let me know and uh, we can do a bit of practice. Good evening, Scott here. This is Neil Hunter. Good evening, Neil. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do so we can bring people on. That's rather good. I do like that. If somebody wants to come on for a wee chat, do let me know and we'll do a bit of experimentation right now and, uh, and see what it's like. That would be quite good fun. I'd quite enjoy that. Right. I'm going to have to go. I've just realized the time for goodness sake, but we'll We'll have lots more pop-ups and lots more opportunities. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, just for you, and share, share, share as much as you can. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a blast from me, Scotty McClue, dinky-doo.